Hi, this is Anthony with a tutorial on how to animate text and images in Explainio 2.0 Pro. First, I'll just play a short 45 second video that I created and then show you how to create it. So here's the video. Not bad, eh? Okay, so now let me show you how to create this video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is um, create a project. So you'd click this Create Project button. Um, just give it a name. I'll call this uh, Animation Test and say Create. And then you need to click this Add button to create a scene then click this uh, create new scene button and then you'll be brought to this uh, blank canvas so the first thing we want to do is add text so click this button that says add text and then you will see this little text box here okay so the first thing that we have in the video it says did you know question mark okay and I changed the font to a little thicker font which is just one Anton and what I did was I basically just increased the size just by dragging this little okay did you know now as you can see because I've got um, you know I'm gonna be adding quite a few text elements um, I like to add a grid right now there's no grid in uh, you know in built but uh, you see this little paper I I I button here? Click on that, and I've actually imported a grid. This is uh, this was created by one of the Facebook uh, explained to your Facebook group members, I believe uh, Charles West. And if you are part of the Facebook Facebook group, you know you can get that grid. But uh, I find using this grid really helpful. So as you can see, um, you you put the grid there, and it allow allows you to, to sort of align text and other elements as well. You can of course remove the grid later on but um, I'm just going to keep it there for the purpose of uh, you know aligning the text properly. Okay so the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to animate this text. So we start off here we start off in the middle okay and then click this animation button as you can see it creates this um, this little uh, duplicate text and um, again, I have got a separate video that I show you exactly how to create this animation. So I'm not going to go too much in depth. I'm just going to show you what I did to create this video, right? So uh, basically what it's going to do is, if you see, I'm going to close the canvas here. Okay. And it's going to sketch the text. And once it's done sketching, it's going to move it down. Okay. So that's the animation. And uh, next, what I want to do is add another piece of text which says you can. Okay, and as you can see, it will overlap here, so you have to just be careful. Okay, so there it is. And uh, I'm going to say you can. And the same thing here, I'm going to use the Anton font. I'm going to increase the size. And um, what I want to do is, when I click on this, you see, it gives me sort of an indication. Whoops, have to be a little careful there. But it gives you an indication, you know, where in reference it is. So you sort of place this depending on, you know, where you want it to, to sketch. So I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to create an animation again for this one. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this. I'm going to use this arrows to flip it and it'll be brought right here. Now as you can see, it's, I think it's a little too big because in relation to this, 
it is too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shrink it a little bit. And as you can see, uh, this grid lines now will help us. As you can see now, this, this eye, I want to align it with the eye. And so this is basically the one, two, three, four, okay, fourth square right, right down here. And so I go, I click on that slide there, and that's one, two, three, four. It's sort of aligned. And it's one, two, three, four, fifth or sixth one from the bottom. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. It has to be a little higher. So you can actually close this and just, you know, do a preview. Now, as you can see, it's quite slow, the animation. So what I'll do is, when you have the animation, you'll see this little text box, or this box here for frames. 24 frames equals one second, so I'm gonna make that 12. That's half a second, so it'll be, as you can see, it'll be much faster. You can, bang. And you can make it faster if you want to. So if I look at this one, okay, did you know? Now as you can see, this hand sort of remains there. I'm going to do this preview. See, if you click on the specific slide, it just shows you the, the preview for that slide. But what you can do is you can click this preview here, if it plays the whole scene. Okay, so did you know? As you can see, this hand remains there. I do not want that hand to remain there. So what I'm going to do is um, go to the action after and then add for action duration I'm just going to add one frame so as you can see now when I do that the hand disappears and that gives you a much better effect okay you can so that's not too bad okay so let's move on I don't want to make this video too long open the canvas so the next thing is um, did you know you can animate so I have to add another text box okay and you got to be a little careful now as you as all these layers overlap okay animate and again I'm going to use the Anton font I'm going to increase the size okay and now I need to see where exactly I put it so I can put it about right about here and then I'm going to animate it again it's going to be brought somewhere around here and then I'll maybe I'll make it 12 again so you can do a preview bang okay that's not too bad and uh, now it gets a little more trickier so I need to add one final piece of text that says plain text so add text again. As you can see now it gets a little more complicated. You've got to be very careful when you pull these out. And then I'll just say plain text. And this time what I want to do is, uh, again, I'm going to use the Anton font. Okay, but I'm going to start off with a small, a small size because then I want to zoom it, give that zoom effect. So for example, animate is right there. Okay, whoops, so that's what you gotta be careful of. Text. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it somewhere around here. Let me see that. Actually, if you close the canvas and you'll see where exactly it is placed. See, that's one way to see where the text is placed. So, as you can see here, it's it's not too bad the placement. Of course, you you know you have to adjust it later on. So what I did was I closed the canvas and I clicked on this final slide. As you can see, it'll show you specific. Uh, previews for, the, for those slides, but when you click on the last slide, it shows you all the text together, which is a good thing, so it sort of gives you a good idea where the text is placed. And then what I want to do is, I want to click on the plain text again, and click Add Animation. And this time what I want to do is, I want to place it right there on it, 
and then increase the size like that. Okay, I'll make that 12 as well. And if you see now, it'll do it'll just sketch the text and then increase the size. But as you can see, it's not placed properly, so I need to align it a little bit better. So I'll click on the slide and then probably align it somewhere much lower. Plain text and bang. Okay, so as you can see, it's not still aligned properly, but uh, you get the gist. You know, you want to you want to align it in a way that it fits properly. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so I hope you get the gist of uh, you know how you do this. So as you can see, this is one scene. Now the second. Uh, the second part of the video is a separate scene altogether. So what I did was I don't want to create everything and make it too complicated. So I created a new scene. So what I want to do, as as you noticed, I never pressed or clicked this add button. It was all in one scene. So so to create a new scene, you need to click this add button again, and say create new scene. And then what I did was I imported uh, a bitmap image. So click add bitmap image, and go and get the picture you know of where you place that so this is the explained your box which is this one right here okay and then um, I wanted to sketch so make sure that you click this here or, or rather do not click this uh, checkbox okay because I wanted to sketch and then add It'll vectorize the image as, as you can see it's right there and then what I did was I created an animation point and brought it to the side here and increase the size Ooh, you want to click this lock actually okay so what I'll do is I'll remove that point I'll do it again I'll lock it bring it here and then increase the size okay I'll increase the size so It'll give you that. I'll change this from 24 to 12. That's half a second. Close it, and as you can see, it'll sketch it. And then move to the side and increase. Right. So uh, the next thing I want to do is um, put some text in here. So I would say add text, and you have this right here. I want to say explain deal. Again, I'll use the Anton font. I'll increase the size. Again, this grid lines. I'm not going to make it exactly perfect here because I don't want to waste. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. But as you can see, uh, it's not quite aligned, right? So you want to move it slightly. I need to move it slightly to the right. Actually, what I did was I think I did this. Yeah, I think I place it right here and then added an animation point to move it right up top let's say 12 and as you can see it's explained you and then moves up okay um, maybe I'll uh, decrease the size a little bit and maybe I'll move this one a little bit to the right. I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard. Okay, to explain to you, moves up, perfect. And then the next one, I'm going to add text here. And now you can, again, you got to be a little careful when you drag and drop these things, or this text boxes. And here I say video creator. Again, change the font to Anton. And this time what I wanted is I wanted to align it to the explain deal here. That's about right. Okay, so this time I do not want to animate this one. It's just going to essentially just catch. It's a little off. It's a little bit off, so I need to bring it to the right and maybe a little higher explain to your video creator and then finally 
I'm going to add another piece of text. Again, you've got to be careful here. And then I'm going to say loving it and then an exclamation mark. And this one, I, I used a different font here. I think it was Architect's Daughter. And uh, sort of place it right about there. So let's see how that aligns. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, so that's pretty much it in terms of all the text. Uh, now it's time to remove this um, paper. So you would click this grid and say remove grid. And as you can see, there are two scenes. I'll have to do. Uh, you know the grid applies to the f to all the scenes, which is great. And the final piece is essentially to put a background video. And as you can see, there are two scenes here, right? So this is one scene here. As you can see, that break right there, and that's the second scene. So I close the canvas, and to add a video, you go to the scene tab, okay? And you add the video here, in in here, click browse, and uh, you know go to your video section. But what I what I do is I've got some SWF files, which are obviously animated um, videos. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one of those. I think it's this one right here. Just add image, which is actually an animated image, but it shows like a video. But that's pretty much it. But as you can see, there are two scenes. If I click on this scene, you see that the video is not there. So that is for each scene. So you'll have to create or put the background video for both the scenes. Add. And um, you know that's pretty much it. As you can see now, if I preview the video, it will play the thing. And of course, this is not exactly aligned properly, but you would take the time to just align the text and make sure that you know everything is. Uh... Okay, so something this actually was not in the right place. So I have to drag and drop it as you can see that is supposed to be the sequence so this one somehow got dragged here but as you can see you can just drag and if you if that happens you can just drag that slide to the correct place so that's how it's supposed to so did you know and uh, you can okay as you can see that that little hand remains there right so you need what you need to do is like I mentioned to you go to the action after and add one one frame to each of these ones so it don't have that little hand you know in the middle okay as you can see I'm doing that right now as I'm just talking to you and um, that pretty much takes care of that little hand sticking around there which does not look too normal as you can see the hand is gone now Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then what you can do is you can add audio. Click on the audio button to add music. This is the voiceover section. This is the music section. And then you just choose the music. You can either browse here and get it from your computer. Uh, choose this music from here if you have uploaded it to or imported it into Explain Dio. I do not do this here. I actually use uh, you know, a video editor. You can even use Windows Movie Maker uh, to sort of edit the video. You can save the project. Here, right here, these uh, that say save and save as, which actually saves uh, the project. Like, for example, we had created this uh, called animation test, and then you just basically save the project. It will do its thing. And, uh, and then what you can do is click this create video button to actually create the video. Um, you'll have to first choose the path, and then uh, just click the start export. Okay, so you know that's how you um, would create this video of course as you can see it's not exactly uh, perfect right now but you would take the time to align text and in all the you know the el other elements so I hope you found that useful you can check this tutorial to learn more about the animation feature in EVC 2.0 Pro and uh, you can check um, these videos to learn more about uh, the new explained your video creator 2.0 Pro if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers for now.